Hey, biology students. So uh, here are our test tubes that we were assembling today. Um, these ones over here have the water in them, and these test tubes over here have the bits of banana DNA that we isolated. And we put diphenylamine, which is a chemical that should react with uh, deoxyribonucleic acid and should turn the DNA black or a very dark color. And so again, here's our control. This is the water. This We should really see no change here after boiling. And these ones, after boiling for 10 minutes, should be a dark color. So uh, I'm going to pause the video. We're going to let these go for 10 minutes, and then we'll see how it turns out. Okay, we're back. And after 10 minutes, uh, we have our results here. Um, you can see that the DNA tubes are certainly not white like the water tubes are, um, but they definitely aren't black. So uh, in, in, in our protocol, it says that the diphenylamine plus the deoxyribonucleic acid should form a black color. Um, and this tube in particular is actually like, like pretty dark, um, but it's more like an olivey green and, and really not a black. So um, I'm going to grab a little bit more of that banana DNA. Um, I'm going to put it in another few test tubes. I'm going to run a second test so that we can uh, see if, if maybe just there, something was happening uh, with what we were doing in class. Um, I'll see if I can uh, replicate what we did and, and see if, uh, if when I do it, uh, there is any different a reaction uh, than when the class did it. So uh, I'll do some new tubes, I'll boil them again, and we'll take a look at the results. Okay, we're back. And now I have a, a new test tube with some new DNA in it. There's our, our DNA from the uh, harvested from the bananas. And I put as much in here as I could possibly find in, in some of those uh, leftover beakers that we had at the end of class. So a lot of DNA in here. I put the diphenylamine uh, in here and a little bit of water, just like the protocol says. So we're going to put it back here in the boiling water. And I'll be back in 10 minutes, and we'll see if we get the result that we should, which again is that black color of our solution. So we'll see. Okay, we're back for the final time, I hope, here. Uh, and now here is our DNA sample from the banana. Uh, we, we isolated the DNA, and then we put the diphenylamine in here, and then we boiled it for 10 minutes. Um, this result is a little bit different than the results we had uh, from the samples in class. Maybe the samples sat out in class just for a few more minutes than they should. Um, but again, here's that dark color. Now, diphenylamine reacts with DNA. It reacts with some of the nitrogen uh, in the DNA molecule. We know that DNA has a lot of nitrogen in it. Um, and so uh, this effectively shows us that this could be DNA, but we have to do some more chemical tests to actually prove that what's in here is, in fact, uh, nucleic acid or or DNA. So uh, this is good evidence. This is the result we were looking for. Um, and in class, we'll do some more tests next time to see if we can really prove that uh, what we're pulling out of the banana cells is, in fact, deoxyribonucleic acid.